Hello, my name is Griff Fries. Um, I'm trying to film myself talking about the Cubist Castle by the Olivia Turma Control. And then well, say yeah. it, then take your finger off. <laughs> it's rolling. Okay. <laughs> Wait, slower, slower. Sorry, you're right. One, it's, it's, it's more like, like... Imperial Mercenaries. Let's get straight into the music. Evan Wenger suggested I listen to the Olivia Tremor Control. Never heard of them. And this uh, album is one of my very favorite albums. I have uh, three copies of it. Force Olivia Tremor Control. And now at the time I was sort of the straight laced kid, you know, I was terrified of, of smoking pot or, or even drinking a beer. I still kind of am. <laughs> but uh, listening to Dusk at Cuba's Castle for the first time was a huge moment for me because you know, not only was I hearing uh, uh, this cool new band carrying on the legacy of so many of my favorite 60s bands, but they had sort of completely turned it upside down and inside out and, and, and for the first time I actually thought that I could feel what it was like to be tripping on psychedelics, you know, without having to actually take all those scary drugs. And, and, and to me, you know, the fact that music could, could have that sort of impact on your brain and, and, and alter your state of mind was, was this eye-opening moment. It was kind of mind-blowing. And, and now, all these years later, you know, the record continues to have that same effect, which is, which is pretty cool.